Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to Ask NK. So, as requested, we are looking at Marvelous Designer, you know, version 9, which is available. We covered the news when this tool came out and, you know, based on popular request, I am going to be talking about the GPU simulation thingy that happens. So, you get to know when and when not to use the GPU thing, how you can turn it on, how you can turn it off, and so on and so forth. But before we get started, I mean, one of the cool things you would definitely notice with this new version is they now have a new set of avatars. The old ones still exist, but they have a new set of avatars. So, we're going to go ahead and test out, you know, making simple seams, and then we're going to go over and talk about complex simulations and see if the GPU thingy kind of holds up within that section. So, for a very simple one, we're going to pop up right into Blender. So, with Blender here, we have Susan the monkey. And what we can do here is uh, actually what we did was just to subdivide this a little bit more, and we exported this over to, you know, Marvelous Designer. So, we have Susan the monkey here in Marvelous Designer. Next thing which we need to do is to create more like a simple clock so you can you know click hold down this and let's just go ahead and create a simple rectangle and allow that rectangle to happen here so with the rectangle here the next thing which we need to do is come over to the 3d section and just slightly rotate this over the top and bring it directly here now one of the cool things with working with the you know the gpu thingy is when you're working with the gpu sim you kind of get exactly what you're looking for really really quick and that is one huge advantage with working with this but the question is how do you turn this on so remember this button that you have here you can notice that it has a different icon now but if you click and hold you find different forms of simulations that happen so there is a certain kind of simulation that happens when you are trying to simulate for animation and there's also another one that happens when you're just doing your default scene. So the one that happens when you're simulating for animation is more like a complete scene, while the one that happens when you're just simulating directly here is more like the normal scene. You also see a complete non-linear and now we also have the GPU. So with these two, you can actually find them when you go over to simulation properties, you can see them all here. So if you don't know how to get this running, you can also check them out here, see what properties they're using. And you can simply switch them directly from here other things that you can do is you can turn off the gpu and turn it back on so you can just pop this off and pop it back on depending on what you want to get so we're going to test out the gpu first and then we'll move on to talking about the other ones so for a quick test this is how it works when you're working with the gpu so i'm going to click hold down switch over to gpu and simply press the simulate button and that's it you can see how quick this happens we don't really have all of those uh nice folds but this actually happens really really quick i'm just going to uh stop it do a ctrl z go all the way back and you know zoom right to this point and do it one more time and you can see that so with this here you can see how quick that happens let's stop that real quick go back and try with the normal and I'm going to press the, you know, simulate button one more time. And you can see this kind of happens a little bit slower, but we have way more drapes with this one. So with this done, we're going to go back one more level and try the complete one. So the complete is actually what happens when you're doing your, you know, your final simulation or animation. So I'm just going to press this and you can see it's taking way more time and we're actually getting way more folds way more drapes i i think if you want to get something that you can use for some very high quality you know the way it's definitely supposed to work or look like then i think you should go for the complete but else if you just want to create something that you can go over to you know blender or zbrush or some other 3d sculpting app to work on then of course you can use the gpu and the gpu is very nice because if you want to easily or you want to quickly iterate stuff you can definitely use that if you just want to get those quick folds happening, of course, you can go ahead and use the GPU. So let's try the last one, which is a complete non-linear. And you can see we're having a combination of what you get with the complete and also something that you can get when you're using the other kind of uh, seams. So it's more like a combination of two different kinds of seams. So if I just go ahead and pause this and bring this down, you can see we're having a combination of these two happening when we go 
towards the non-linear. And this makes a lot of sense because it is actually really, really cool to see the incredible things that you can do with just doing this sim alone. So you can see the whole thing, how they all look like. And I think this makes a lot of sense. So with this done, let's go over and look at some more complex, you know, sims and see if this GPU thingy kinds of hold up. Meanwhile, with this happening here, if I simply, you know, go over and hit the simulation, you can see I can easily drag things around, right? And let's actually, you know, go up one level. And with this selected, I'm just going to zoom all the way out and then hold this down, select the GPU and just simply hit the GPU. You can see I'm having this uh, quick feedback happening here, all right? So you can see I'm having this quick feedback happening here with the GPU. And this is really nice. I mean, it is going to make a lot of sense if you just want to scope things or if you want to quickly make, you know, some seams and you have a powerful GPU you can work with. Then of course you can easily, easily, you know, you know, take advantage of this and create those interesting uh, seams. So for the GPU, simple objects, 100%, it works, I suggest to use that. All right, so we have this model here. So I've uh, just simply gone ahead to, you know, position all of these geometries around this so you can see what that looks like, all right. So uh, this is definitely coming from the template uh, geometry that exists directly here in Marvelous Designer. So I'm just going to go ahead and try out you know the seam so let's switch this over to gpu and see what happens since it's the celebrity of the day and i'm just going to hit you know this and let's take a look and that was pretty neat i mean that's pretty neat you can see what that looks like yeah we have a couple of lapses here but that doesn't really matter now so you can see what that looks like let's stop this and let me just go back one more time Let's position this character here. Ctrl Z that. And let's try this one more time. Okay. That's pretty cool. That was fast. Uh, let's try this with something else. So I'm just going to switch back to normal. Do a simple Ctrl Z to get everything back into position. And switch this to normal. Let's see what we have. So let's try that now. Okay, so now you can start noticing the difference. Okay, so there's there's way more difference now. But I can absolutely tell that it is more calculated when you're using the normal one compared to when you're using the GPU. So I'm just going to stop that. Go back one level. Let's play with the complete and see what we have. All right, so the complete seems to be a little bit fast when it has to do with, you know, the attraction of the objects together. And we can see some reasonable folds and creases here and there. And to me, I think this makes a lot of sense. So I'm just going to go through, stop this and then go back. One other thing to note with the complete is it takes a little bit of time to, you know, kind of calculate because it's doing a lot more job than the other ones. So I think it takes a lot of time to calculate. So let's try with the last one and see. So this is more like a combination of the normal and the complete. And you can see we're having all of these, you know, fine creases around, which is really cool. Now, if you don't want to actually take this thing into a third party to start sculpting, uh, then of course I would suggest that you can use this and by the way you can still choose to sculpt directly here because you know Marvelous Designer has a sculpting tool set that exists now so you can you know literally come through here you go over to the sculpt and sculpt whatever you want so it doesn't really matter if you want to work with the GPU the CPU you know or any of those things I think what matters more is how do you want your final uh, product to look like so if you have a, a directed idea of what you want your final product to look like then i think you can achieve this if you want to get quick you know seams then i guess the gpu kind of works a bit better i think there is a little bit of a processing that happens but once that processing is done everything looks cool let's pull this around and see and you can see it's easy for you to pull things around and you can act literally see that happening directly here. It's easy for you to pull things around. So it's leveraging from the power of the GPU to actually do all of these things. In previous times, it's not like this wasn't something that could be done. 
but it may not come in as easy as you can see so this is the gpu thingy this is the gpu feature that ships with marvelous 9 i would like to know what you guys think about it would you use this feature if you want to get this version of marvelous there is a 30 days version that is available so you can go over register get a free copy download this and you know you can play with it if you have a gpu and so if you want to learn more about marvelous designer we have a sister channel called zarif link is going to be in the description so you can check that out also if you want to see more videos about marvelous designer uh just keep an eye open in the notification so you can see updates when they are available if you like this video you know what to do go ahead and give it a like and don't forget to turn on notification and if you're new here it's going to be amazing if you can hit the subscribe button and also turn on notifications so you don't miss the next video and until i see you guys again with a tutorial update free friday tutorial tuesday tips and tricks things like this peace